My name's um, Associate Professor Leanne Chappell. I'm a dietitian in ICU at the Royal Adelaide Hospital. So most patients in ICU are in a coma, so they're asleep, and that means that they can't eat in the same way that we normally would. Um, so a lot of our patients have a, a thin tube that goes down their nose into their stomach, and we feed them a liquid feed that way. The role of the dietitian in ICU is really diverse. So we do see the patients that are eating orally. Um, often they have a poor appetite or have barriers to eating, such as taste changes. And so we're helping give them more nutrition via um, small sort of supplement drinks often. We don't lead the food service department here at the Royal Adelaide Hospital. The food service department's quite separate. We do have a food service dietitian that um, works closely with them, but as a dietitian ourselves, we don't have control over, over the food that is prepared on site. So we try and work with the, the food service department to improve the, the food that our patients receive. For the patients that are eating orally, we probably see them less than the patients that are fed via a tube in ICU, just because we can't see everyone. We have a, a big department, about 4,000 admissions a year. Um, in ICU, we don't help patients lose weight. Um, most of the time, these patients are extremely sick and their body needs all that nutrition as a reserve to help fight their infections. These patients are sometimes lose so much muscle that after 10 days, they can barely sit on the edge of a bed, let alone get up and walk. So we wanna be feeding that muscle as much as we can.